Leia here from LeiaFirstSci.com, and in this video, I will help you understand why halogens are an exception to the EAS rule, given that they're deactivating yet are still orthopower directing. In the last two videos, I helped you understand why electron donating groups are activators and orthopower directors, while electron withdrawing groups are deactivators and meta directors. If you're not fully confident with that yet, go back and watch those videos first, and you can find them on my website, layoffersci.com slash EAS. But here's a quick recap. An electron donated group has lone electrons with a negative or partial negative charge, which it's able to resonate into the benzene ring. Adding negativity to the ring activates the positive intermediate by stabilizing the positivity and therefore the reaction is more likely to happen when compared to benzene. We also talked about the trick for recognizing the placement of the carbocation intermediate and determined that when we add something to the ortho position we get a carbocation here, here, and here which is favorable because we have a carbocation directly near that partially negative electron donating group. We also talked about how adding an electrophile to the power position will give me the same exact resonance, and that's why electron donating groups are ortho power directors. Electron withdrawing groups, on the other hand, are positive or partially positive, and this does not stabilize the positive intermediate of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, making the reaction unfavorable and slower when compared to regular benzene. We also talked about how when adding a substituent to the ortho or para position and getting the same resonance intermediates compared to what we have over here is very unfavorable because we're placing a positive charge directly near that positive substituent making it very unstable. And then we talked about how placing the super electrophile at the meta position while still giving me that unfavorable resonance with a positive intermediate in the ring, having the carbocations represented by these orange circles farther away from the positive substituent made the reaction slightly less unfavorable. So we're still not looking at something favorable, but it's the lesser of evils, and therefore electron withdrawing groups are meta-directing. In short, activating groups are orthopower directors, deactivating groups are meta-directors. But now when we look at halogen, for example chlorine, we see a little bit of both. We see that chlorine is a deactivator, and yet it's an orthopower director. So the question is, why is it orthopower directing if it's deactivating and not activating, or if it's deactivating, why not meta directing? So let's take a look. Let's use the carbocation shortcut which I taught in my resonance trick video to show what happens if I add an electrophile at the ortho position. I will get a carbocation on the next carbon, skip a carbon, next carbon, skip a carbon, and next carbon. If I do the same thing, but now at the electrophile at the para position, I still use the trick. The next carbon near the electrophile gets the carbocation, skip a carbon, carbocation, skip a carbon, carbocation. What you see here is that the highly electronegative chlorine, or any halogen, is considered to be an electron donating group, and placing the positive charge directly near that partially negative atom would be favorable because we're helping stabilize the positivity with a negativity. This is why halogens are orthopower directors. So the question is, if they're orthopower directors and it looks favorable, why are they considered deactivators? And this comes from the fourth bonus resonance that we talked about in the electron donating group video. A bonus resonance structure can happen when the substituent has a lone pair of electrons that is capable of resonating into the ring. I drew out the resonance intermediates for the bonus structure in both the ortho and the para position. Notice that in both cases chlorine is pi bound to the carbon in the ring and chlorine has a positive charge. Other electronegative atoms like nitrogen and oxygen are capable of holding that charge and that bonus resonance helps move that reaction along. But halogens, because they're so highly electronegative, really, really dislike that charge and that will slow down the reaction. A fun way to understand this is imagine you have a big project that you have to do and you ask your friend to come along and help you. Your friend isn't very happy, but they agree. And they come and help you, but the entire time that you're working on the project, your friend is moaning and groaning and grumbling and complaining. And it comes to the point where you're like, oh my god, stop it already, just get out of here, you're not helping me, you're slowing me down. 
That's exactly what happens when you have the halogens sitting on the benzene ring. Yes, they're capable of providing that fourth bonus structure, but they're so unhappy and unstable with a positive charge, they do whatever they can to slow down the reaction to make sure that the positivity does not wind up on the halogen. So even though the ideal placement of the electrophile is ortho or para because we have the positive charge near the halogen, the halogen really dislikes that bonus resonance structure, really dislikes positivity, and so slows down the entire reaction, making it a deactivator rather than an activator. Be sure to join me in the next video where I take you through a number of EAS reactions going from benzene to dye substituted products. I work through even more examples from simple to tricky on my membership site, studyhall.layofersci.com forward slash join. You can find my entire series on electrophilic aromatic substitution along with my EAS cheat sheet on my website at layofersci.com slash EAS. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.